Hey guys, so this is gonna be the beginning of a new series. Uh, this is my 20 gallon water box, all in one. Uh, and it's doing great. The lights just came on right now. Uh, all I have in here is uh, two clownfish and one, uh, I forgot what he's called, uh, purple uh, dotty back. That's what it is. Let's see, I have a few corals here and there. Uh, the colors might not look great because I'm not using a filter right now on the iPhone, but this is my tank. This is what we're starting with. And uh, if you saw the title of the video, I am moving to a 65 gallon uh, tank and sump. Well, with the sump, it will be like 85 gallons. But yeah, this is what I'm running right now. I'm not using a filter sock. I find the uh, filter floss works well. And it's just easier to toss it out. It's pretty cheap. Uh, I have some media in here, bio balls, a piece of dead coral in there, uh, and some carbon. And here I just have my auto top off and my return pump. Uh, so yeah, this is what I'm starting with. And uh, I have a few corals, as so you can see. Senior, you gotta be careful with that. Those uh, will take over the tank real quick. Uh, some GSB, which also grows really fast. I have this blob right there I have to keep an eye on. Uh, hopefully it's not going to take too long to move everything, but just kind of wanted to show where we're starting at. I also keep my auto top off uh, little container in here. And I have some other fish stuff here, tests, uh, food, uh, dosing stuff. So yeah, that's the old tank. Now let's take a look at the new tank. So here's the other tank. Already piped, we return and drain. Painted black at the back. And it is about 65 gallons. And as you will see, it still needs to go downstairs to its final place. All right, guys, so this is where the tank is gonna live. This is uh, its final home. As you can see, I have my little setup here for work. I work from home. Uh, so I thought it would be nice to, you know, just sit here, have a nice view of my tank. I think I'd enjoy that. So you can see the uh, stand is already has the holes on it, so well, that's nice. Uh, it can open these. Has some good space there. The piping will come down this way, and then the sump will be right here. Uh, as you can probably tell, I bought all of these uh, pre-owned. Uh, one of the reasons the tank is not down here yet is because I want to, you know, patch a few things, paint it, uh, make it look a little better, and then put the tank on it. I mean, it's pretty good overall. I don't really mind too much just patching these few spots. But yeah, that's the stand for it. And over here is the uh, sump I'm gonna use. You can see it's like a DIY. I think this is like 15, 20 gallons. So that's why the total water volume is gonna be like 85. Uh, you can see it only has one baffle right now, uh, but I can definitely add more here. So as I was told is the return pump will go on this last one, returning water. Uh, and then here in the middle will be the uh, what do you call it? The protein schemer. So like right here in the middle. And the idea of this baffle here is to not get all the bubbles from the protein schemers going into the return pump. And then on this side, I probably can put a uh, either filter socks, maybe two filter socks right here, or a automatic 
uh, mat roller, one of those new automatic mat rollers. So yeah, that's uh, what I got so far. Um, looking forward to, you know, getting this space cleaned up a little bit. There's a few stuff around here, but uh, looking forward to setting up this tank. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more of that, uh, make sure to subscribe because uh, I'll be making videos all along the way. Thank you. Bye.